So, uh, Max, with reduced track running here in Montreal, what have you learned from the car today? Yeah, of course, it wasn't uh, very straightforward with basically no running in FP1. Of course, same for everyone, and at least we could get a bit of running um, in FP2. But I think we still have a bit of work to do. The car is not fantastic at the moment over the bumps, over the curbs. Um, I mean, it's still not too bad, but yeah, we definitely uh, need to fine tune a few things. But again, you see now it's it's raining. To, probably tomorrow it's raining, but then maybe on Sunday it's dry again. So uh, yeah, bit of a, a bit more of a tricky session, but you know, sometimes you have those uh, those days. And with some of the finessing you need to do, uh, Mercedes, Ferrari, and Aston do look quick here. Do you think they're bringing the fight to the front? Yeah, let's see. I mean, I think we didn't have a good day. Maybe they had a good day. We know that uh, we we know our limitations with the car and probably on the track like it is now with the bumps and the curbs is it's definitely not suiting uh, our package for now. But we'll uh, we'll try to um, to find a few improvements. And with the mixed weather conditions uh, coming up, how do you think that's going to affect your performance? Could we see a shaken up grid tomorrow? Yeah, let's see. I mean, probably tomorrow is going to be very wet. Um, so that normally always brings a few surprises in qualifying. And I will see what the weather will do on uh, on Sunday. So Sergio, with reduced track time here in FP1, what have you learned from the car today? Yeah, it was uh, a real shame, you know, that we end up losing that that FP1. I think we we really need, need it. Um, and then FP2, yeah, uh, towards the end, the, the conditions got a bit worse. So as well, uh, it was a, a shame in that regard. But um, I think we got a good base, and we just have to make sure that. Uh, we, we play a bit with the car, so it was only a bit in a hurry, you know, so I think uh, there's plenty for us to understand from to, tonight. Mercedes, Ferrari and Aston look quite strong here. Do you think they throw, pose a threat? Are you guys struggling a little bit at this track? Um, I, I think they're looking good, uh, though they, they're looking good. Um, we need to improve our ride as well, so yeah, we'll see. We'll see tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And we're expecting mixed weather conditions. Uh, how do you think that will play out for you guys this weekend? Um, well, I think it's going to be an interesting weekend, um, you know, this level of rain. It gets really dark and visibility really poor. Um, so I think these conditions be become undrivable very quickly. So hopefully, if the rain comes, hopefully not as much. Oscar, it's your first time running here in Montreal and you unfortunately lost time in FP1. What have you managed to learn in the condensed track time today? Um, I think quite a lot, obviously. Um you know, we, we went into FP2 with, with the extra tyres from FP1, an extra half an hour. Um, and yeah, we, we made the most of it, I'll keep it short. Um, yeah, obviously a lot of tyres, a lot of laps, which was nice. Um, some quality style runs, some longer longer runs as well. So yeah, a bit of everything. Uh, we saw you clip the wall in FP2. Do you feel confident here? Reasonably, yes. Um, not so sure how, how I feel about the weather, but um, no, I think, um, you know, pushing the limits and, and on older tyres in the end, so um, no, it was all fine. And moving on to the weather, do you think this is going to open up some opportunities tomorrow? What do you think is possible? Um, we'll see. It's uh, obviously raining a lot now, and this is probably what it's going to be like tomorrow, so our car generally likes it when it's cold and, and mixed conditions and stuff like that, so we'll see. But uh, we'll, we'll obviously drive in whatever the weather throws at us, which is quite a lot at the moment. So, Lando, with reduced uh, track running here in Montreal, what have you learned from the car today? Uh, I think we still learned quite a bit. A um, little bit of wet, wet running in the end, too, but uh, good understanding of the car. Um, not easy. Like, it's um, probably, I mean, the track doesn't get used, you know, through the whole season apart from on a weekend like this. So, it takes quite a long time. And especially because this was really the first proper session. Uh, the track was improving quite a bit through the whole thing, so every lap feeling a little bit different, but uh, good understanding, decent feeling, still some some things to try to work on and improve, but, um, same as normal. And uh, you had a quite a good qualifying in Spain, and we've got wet conditions here. What do you think is possible for tomorrow? Uh, depends what the weather is. <laughs> if it's like uh, this, what do you think you can do? i got no idea. If like this is too wet, uh, I won't be going out. We'll, we'll see. I, th I don't think it's as simple as if it rains, we're good, and if it's like, it, that's, it's not like that, to be honest. Um, uh, I think in tricky conditions, I just want to have a bit more faith that I can do a better job as a driver. Um, but also the car likes certain conditions, um, like when it's maybe colder and, and things like that. But again, it's not as simple as just saying if it's cold, we're quick, and if it's warm, we're slow, you know? So uh, we we'll see. We've got things to work on ourselves try to get the car in a better window but if it's like this uh, it won't be in a window I'll just be jumping out the window. No, it was a very unusual Friday at the racetrack can you sum it up for us? Yeah obviously sitting in the car for most of FP1 and then 
had a had a reasonably okay run uh, in FP2. So in general, I think uh, we went for what we needed to do, considering you know P1 was uh, was not running. But uh, yeah, tomorrow looks like will be the condition that's how we finished off. But it was pretty a lot of aqua planning, so it will be a, a tricky day tomorrow. But let's work on tonight to make sure everything is uh, make a step forward. I mean, we can hear the thunder like uh, you know over our shoulders. Uh, how do you change the car for tomorrow? What what can you do to try and um, improve it for those conditions? I think it's a compromise, like uh, really between you know uh, tomorrow and the Sunday, because the Sunday most likely will be cloudy or something. Tomorrow, I think it will be heavy rain. So you have to find a compromise that uh, you have a good qualified car, but not damaging too much in the race in the dry conditions. So it's all play, but it's the same for everyone. And uh, for us as a driver, it's all about adapting because when you start the quality, that's the car you get. And uh, you have to always just adapting the condition, making sure you get the most out of it. And the weather brings mix, mixed up grids normally, or it can. Uh, where do you think you can qualify tomorrow? Uh, it's too early to, to say that, but I think the aim is, is going to be trying to get to Q3 and minimum try to, you know, in Q2, like a position we did in Barcelona that uh, put us in a good spot fighting for points. And uh, I think we can, we can do that. And especially I think with wet, you never know. With the tyre pressure, tyres working in the different range, is a big question mark. It's a very unusual Friday out there, capped off by the weather. Can you sum it up for us? Unusual indeed. Uh, first practice, it was only like one time lap. And uh, second practice, at, at least we got lots of running. Only with the rain in the end, compromised a bit. But still, I think we got a decent amount of laps in the end, if we count everything. And uh, I think overall, at least on a dry condition, felt like quite a, quite a positive day. Like um, the car was immediately there. Performance was um, within top 10 all the time. So I think uh, as, a, as a Friday, isn't bad. The weather looks like it's going to stick around for tomorrow. What changes can you make overnight to adapt to that? It's a compromise always, like Sunday is looking dry, so you want to be competitive on on Sunday as well. As well. So um, we'll, we'll look into it and uh, see if we find a good compromise. But uh, fingers crossed, we, we get some running tomorrow. And all things equal, where do you think the car would qualify against your competitors at the moment? Q3? We, I feel like we do have a top 10 car here, but that as always means we need to find improvements. But at, at least based on today, we we need to need to be able to get to top top 10. Good to be back in Canada. How's the car feeling going into the weekend? Um, yeah, so far it seems a little bit struggling. Um, the balance itself is okay, but just seems like the pace is not there. Um, um, so yeah, we, we have to find those uh, pace. At the same time, it seems like tomorrow is going to be full rain um, overall, overall, so probably we don't have to focus much to the dry condition, especially in one lap. Uh, we did a bit of lo long run and seems not bad, but I'll uh, see how it goes in tomorrow and uh, prepare for rain as well. Do you think the reduced track running will affect the run plan going into the weekend? Sorry? Do you think the reduced track action is going to affect your running plan going into the weekend? Um, we have still we have still uh, two hours, so um, I would say long enough. And we have also lots of set tyre sets to use, so um, had a good, good enough um, practice there, so I don't think so. First time around the circuit in Canada, how's it feeling? Uh, it was um, yeah, a challenging day, I think, for everyone. Uh, obviously, we uh, yeah, had a FP1, which was interrupted, and uh, that kind of changed our plan and run uh, running time a little bit for, for the afternoon. But uh, we got some good laps in and uh, yeah, got up to speed with the track, more or less. So um, yeah, just got to see where we are tomorrow. I think tomorrow it's going to be really wet, so uh, different conditions again. Um, but um, yeah, decent starting point, but still a lot of work ahead of us. How's the car feeling going into the weekend? Has much changed? Uh, I mean, it's a very different track than, than Barcelona, so everything feels uh, a little bit, I would say, different. Um, so, um, yeah, we'll just have to get used to it and make the, the required changes which are, uh, yeah, necessary. So, Lance, lots of disrupted running today. Um, has that affected your plans for the weekend? Uh, no, it's the same for everyone. So, and uh, there's a lot of high flow vis on the car today. Is there anything particular that you guys are trying to learn? Uh, yeah, I mean, just some aero uh, testing, so um, yeah, um, just usual Friday stuff. Loads of new upgrades. Is there any sense of whether they're working yet or any learnings you've got from them? We'll look into it tonight, but uh, the car is feeling good. I think we're, um, you know, looking pretty good, so uh, yeah, we'll see. But tomorrow looks like it's probably going to be wet, so um, yeah, very different day.